not exactly what you would expect when you think of Oklahoma. The city of Lawton is the county seat of Comanche County and a surprising recreational jewel of the Great Plains, primarily due to its proximity to the Wichita Mountains that offer a myriad of outdoor opportunities as well as a few large bodies of water located nearby. Founded in 1901, the town was named after Major General Henry Ware Lawton, a Civil War Medal of Honor recipient. And because of its location near Fort Sill, it's enjoyed population and economic stability throughout the 20th century, with it being home to about 100,000 people and over 80 parks and recreational areas of varying sizes. Law and Fort Sill really is, is kind of the seat in southwest Oklahoma. We're fortunate to have the military base um, on here, which provides a diverse economy for us, as well as a diverse population. Well, Lawton's really unique in, in the aspect of having the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge located in the northwest portion of town. It's a 10 minute drive from Lawton, but it offers an array of opportunities for the traveler, whether it be the hiking, um, the mountain climbing, the rock climbing, camping opportunities. With Lake Latonka out there and Lake Ellsworth, there's all kinds of boating activities available. Uh, jet skis are permitted, boats, fishing. Um, there's different seasons for it, but, but our lakes are always full of different fishing. And of course, with Medicine Park up there, there's a little getaway area where you can go to the watering hole, um, eat some unique food, as well as just stay within the refuge and enjoy the beauty of the mountains and, and kind of take in all that nature has to offer. So one of the unique things about Lot and Fort Sill is the vision of the mountains, especially Mount Scott, from anywhere in Lawton. And Mount Scott is about 2,500 feet elevation located on the eastern edge of the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. It has a 3.5 mile paved road from the base to the top. Uh, the drive up can be a little intimidating for some. There's not many guardrails, but it offers a beautiful view of Lake Latonka, the Windmill Farm, the city of Lawton, as well as the rest of the refuge. And from the summit of Mount Scott, you can see a perfect panoramic shot of of all the nature in its true glory, plus a little speck of Lot and Fort Sill in the distance. Uh, this is actually one of the premier climbing destinations uh, in the entire region. It's wonderful granite over here, and so it's really great for climbing. Uh, solid holds and great anchor placements. We lead guided uh, rock climbing and rappelling trips, primarily in the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. Uh, our goal is to uh, is to connect. We, we want to get people to connect with each other, connect with themselves, and connect with nature. There's so many neat experiences out here, and just uh, really learn about yourself as a person, to challenge yourself. There is so much to do here, whether it's climbing, hiking, uh, kayaking, biking, you name it, and also just to sit back and enjoy it, and just, you know, take a, a breather from life. People from, from all over Texas, uh, Wisconsin, Kansas, and of course all over Oklahoma come here to climb. I've met lots of people from all over out here. Really super. And while in the area, don't miss the Holy City of the Wichitas, a fascinating and inspirational destination that can provide quite a spiritual experience. And we're sort of in the middle of the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge, which is located about 15 miles west of Lawton. We have 160 acres under our grant, of which we use probably 10, 15 acres. The Easter pageant itself, uh, produced uh, by the Holy City every year at Easter, is the longest running outdoor passion play in America. Um, it started in 1925 on a, on a hilltop out by Medicine Park, and the first uh, formal production at the Holy City was in 1935. We counted this, uh, this past season as our 90th year.
Only about 10 miles north of the Lawton Fort Sill area, Lake Latonka is the closest lake and the second largest in the region, encompassing about two square miles and offering roughly 20 miles of shoreline. The lake is open to the public and it's an ideal place for boating and even surfing. Yes, you heard that right, surfing. Well, if not on huge waves, at least on the wakes created by your own boat. Lake Latonka um, has a schoolhouse slough, which is the dock area where you can load in jet skis, boats. There are RV hookups where people can go out, you can rent a space and camp overnight. Some people do stay for the summer and, and kind of just enjoy the atmosphere. There's boathouses lining the marina on the side, and, and some people are fortunate enough to be able to have the boathouse and literally uh, live on the water, some for the summer, some year round but it's an open recreational lake. There's fishing portions, uh, there's boating all over. Anything you can think of on the water, they welcome it out there and, and it's a great opportunity. Lake Ellsworth is another option with Edgewater, Chandler Creek, and Collier Landing. It's got a boat ramp where you can go down for some on the water fishing. You can also do shoreside fishing. And as a matter of fact, Lake Ellsworth is actually a larger body of water than Lake Latonka. Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge is, is host to tons of native species. It's more than 59,000 acres with 22,000 acres available and open to the public. We've got our American bison, uh, commonly referred to as buffalo down here, but they are American bison. Uh, Texas longhorn were relocated up here to preserve the species. And uh, it's really a host to a wider range of prairie habitat as well as some mountainous habitat and was recently voted by a USA Today Traveler's Poll as the number one wildlife refuge in the United States. The Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge has protected wildlife habitats since 1901, and it's the oldest managed wildlife facility in the United States Fish and Wildlife Service System. Although initially established to protect wildlife in danger of extinction, the efforts to perpetuate these major species have been so successful that most of the big game herds increase to the point that they're considered no longer in peril. Because of this, the major goal of the wildlife refuge now has shifted to mostly maintenance of representative herds, utilizing good range use practices. With all that it has to offer, Lawton Fort Sill and the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Preserve are the perfect destination for a weekend getaway or even a longer extended vacation. 